In this lesson, we'll be learning to add labels to windows in our application. A blank window is present in the current application, and it's represented by this white square. Looking at the code, we see that that window is represented by the variable win1. So we'll be adding a label to win1. Let's start by creating a new variable called label1, and then we'll call the constructor method for the labels. So that's titanium.ui. Dot create label and then we'll open and close the parentheses and brackets accordingly. Now we'll type the most important property for this constructor which is text colon and then the text that the user is to see. This is a label. And as well we'll add another property called text align and this is the alignment of the text left, right, or center. We'll say left. And both properties take strings. Now we need to add the label to the window. So we'll type win1 dot add open parentheses label1 and close parentheses. Now we'll go to titanium and launch. And there's our text. We can align it to the top of the application or the bottom, similarly to how we uh, aligned windows in the application. So we'll close it, and we'll add a few more properties. So if we want it to appear at the top, then we'll type top, colon, and the distance from the top, zero. And as well, let's designate how uh, far in to the left it is. Left, 10. Okay, we can also designate its height, which won't change the uh, type height, but rather the height of the box that it's in. We'll say 25, and the width. And here, we'll say auto as a string. So the width will only be as wide as the text. So that we can see the height and the width, let's create a property called background color and assign it to yellow. Finally, we can change the font uh, by using an object. Font, colon, and then open and close curly braces. And within this object, use the property font family, colon, we'll use American typewriter, and then comma afterwards, font um, size, colon, and um, this is a number, let's say 15. Okay, that's a lot of information, but let's see how it works out. Looks like we've got an error, we'll fix it, there we go. Okay, we'll go to titanium and launch, and there it is. So we see yellow just around the text because the width is set to auto, and as well, we see the font has changed to American Typewriter. Now, if we wanted to display this label indented, but with um, the yellow background fully wide to the application, we'd have to place the label inside its own window. So let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a child window of window 1. So var childwin equals titanium.ui dot create window and then open and close parentheses okay and oops I've got a mistake and just fixed it we don't need to type a title for this child window but we need to set the background color let's copy that from label one let's cut it actually Okay, and we don't need to set um, the height or width properties if we want this window to take up the entire size. So since we want it to take up the entire width, we won't set that, but we do want to control the height. So what we'll do is we'll type height and colon, and then it's 25. And I'm grabbing that value from below. Okay. 
So now we need to place label 1 inside child win, but also we need to place child win inside win 1. Let's go down here before we do anything else and forget. So let's say child win dot add label 1. So this label is now inside child win. And then instead of adding label 1 to win 1, we'll add child win to uh, win 1. So to break it down, we're adding the label to the child window and then the child window to the parent window. Save it. Let's go ahead and run it. There might be an error. Okay, we just need to position this window now at the top, but you can see how the uh, child window fully takes up the width of the application. So we'll just add top 0px, or 0 rather, not 0px. And let's go ahead and make the height a little bit bigger, 50, and take off the width from label 1. We don't need it as well. We don't need top and left either. Okay, so what we're left with is the label has properties that purely apply to the look of the text, and the window has properties that apply uh, to the layout of the window and the look. So we'll go back to Titanium and Launch, and there we go. And if we wanted to create um, other such labels, well, what we could do is just copy the relationship as, as it is now, and paste it, and then add a suffix, child window 2, and label 2, and we'll type as the text uh, label 2. Let's say we align this one right, okay, and we need to make sure that the positioning is lower than label, or than, lower than child window 1, it is absolute positioning. So since child window 1 is 50 high, then we'll set the top of child window 2 at 50, and we'll keep the height the same. And let's change the color. We can use plain English, red. Okay, and we still have to add these windows. So child um, win dot add. Oh, to dot add label two and then win one add child win two save it and close the application and launch again and there we go so as you can see uh, labels will be very helpful in labeling components of your application and displaying text to the user. Um, I will say that you have to be very careful to size the labels appropriately because uh, the app, the label won't necessarily feature text wrapping. Um, in fact, let's take a look if we introduce too much text. So I'll take label one. This is a label that has a very, 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 very long sentence with no commas. Save it. And then let's recompile. And you see in this particular case there's enough height for the text to be accommodated, but we're just about out of space. So what we'll do is we'll just add a few more varies. and then recompile. Okay, and so we're pushing the, the height limits, but if we squeeze the window, so let's say we take child win, which is that first window, and we smash it to 25, Now let's see what happens. You see that now that we've decreased the height of this window, 
the application automatically uh, truncates the sentence and gives us an ellipsis at the end to indicate that there's more text, but it can't be displayed. So you've got to be very careful about that. And um, in fact, if you do have a lot of text to display, there's a different view, uh, text view for that, uh, which will allow you to scroll up and down. And a label really isn't appropriate for that usage. So think of labels more as um, actually being labels, short identifiers uh, that you can put in your application.